Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the Green Bay Packers franchise. Jordan Love is officially 1-0 after his first start as the franchise quarterback in his second career start in regular season as he got one versus the Chiefs a year ago. And now here we go, going up against the 0-1 Bears and what could be a rivalry of quarterbacks between Justin Fields and Jordan Love. These two historic franchises are pretty much neck and neck with wins as far as their franchise goes against each other and overall. And we look to play against another rebuilding team who is young. They have the pieces. Nikhil Harry was acquired in the offseason and he gets added to Darnell Moody, Mooney, and they will form a pretty young receiving core with a lot of potential, along with David Montgomery, who I think right now is on a put up or shut up year. The good thing coming into this game is that our injury report looks a lot cleaner. Jair Alexander is healthy. Rashawn Gary is healthy. They will play for the first time this season in this game. Our goal is really going to be to attack this secondary. I think that's one of the weaknesses and force Justin Fields to throw. And in practice, we will practice in half pads. Make sure nobody gets hurt and nobody really did. Going into this game, Amari Rodgers has an upgrade. He is right now the fifth uh, wide receiver on the depth chart. Yash Nyman, or Neiman, I'm not exactly sure how to say that. I'm sure I will say it right next episode. He gets an upgrade also. And Blaze Williams, who got the start last game, he will kind of move to the three or the four, the slot uh, cornerback position. We'll see. I'm not sure where he fits right now. And then Quay Walker, who is developing. I'm so glad we signed Danny Trevathan to get him more XP in practice. And he looks pretty good. And here we go, our first home game of this series underway. As here is Blaze Williams, the undrafted rookie, back to receive the opening kickoff, and he takes it to about the 23. Jordan Love looked, I say, all right in spurts in the opener. We'll see if he can replicate the same success finding guys late as he did in game number one. Here we go. No touchdowns to his name yet. Here is a carry to the left side. That is A.J. Dillon, who, like I said, will lead this offense this season more than likely. Second and 10 screen pass to him. He gets enough space to get about eight or nine yards, bringing it to a third and two at the 30. Love in the pocket. The pocket collapsing, but it gets rid of it to Bob Tanyan. It's a first down, two of two to start this game for Jordan Love. Definitely better than the three and out in the opener. Chicago still has a formidable defense because remember, they did sign our former linebacker in the all pro. But look at A.J. Dillon getting through the line, throwing off defenders, running over the secondary. And he picks up the first down. And Devondre Campbell, the former Packer, is in on the stop. Here's Love in the pocket, throwing across the middle. Good protection. He will find Romeo Dobbs for a first down as he gets to about the 25 yard line. As we back it up here after a penalty now, a third and 16 throw to the end zone, looking for Christian Watson who has the size and speed to make those types of throws incomplete. We bring in Mason Crosby for the field goal. This one is wide to the right from 48 yards out. Mason Crosby cannot be accurate on that kick. So no points doing on the first drive. Here's Justin Fields, his first pass to the right side. Caught by Darnell Mooney, who goes up and gets it over Jair, Jair Alexander. Welcome back from injury. And they test him right away. Kirk Cousins did not do this at all in game number one. Surprising to see Fields air it out on the first pass. At the 26-yard line now, it's a second and eighth throw to the right side. That is once again going to be to Jair's side. Not man coverage this time, but a soft part in the zone. It's Dante Pettis for the first down. The Bears are cruising on this first drive. Now at the 11, this is an option keeper. And Fields has enough room to get into the end zone for the touchdown. Nobody was home on that play. 
Fields has the speed. Remember, he's at about like 90 speed. And he gets in. It is now 7 to nothing. So a good start here for the Bears. A missed field goal by the Packers. And the Bears capitalize. Here's a handoff this time to A.J. Dillon. Fighting through tackles and picks up a gain of 7. He just finds a way to fight through arm tackles. He had 88 yards off of 19 carries and two touchdowns in the opener. Here is Love trying to scramble and get free, and he puts the ball on the ground. It's picked up by Jones, and Love will turn the ball over, and Chicago has great field positions. He tried to step up in the pocket and try to pick up the first down with his legs and could not get through the Bears defenders. So here is Fields backing onto the field. Here is a run to the left side, and that one is a stop by Malachi Muhammad. And that one will be a holding on the Chicago Bears offense. So we will actually decline that penalty. Third and nine now. Here is Fields throwing deep one-on-one -on -one for Jair again. He tests him, but this time Byron Pringle can't come down with that one. So 10-0 game here for the Packers, down by 10. Here's Love rolling to the right side, and the next pass is picked off. Chicago, the last two defensive plays have come up with two interceptions, and that's Brisker. Love tried to roll out and playmaker Tanyan, but Tanyan just moves way too late. Ends up being an interception. So two turnovers already here for the Packers offense. Here is a scramble to the left side. He gets around uh, the undrafted rookie, Benjamin Mayfield, and picks up a first down inside the 10. Justin Fields under center now, throwing the fade, and that one is to nobody. Good coverage by the undrafted rookie, Blaze Williams. Second and goal now, Montgomery up the middle, fights off a tackle from Danny Trevathan, the former Chicago Bear, and gets in. 17 to nothing start here for the Bears. And nobody saw this coming. And now it's 17 to nothing as this could be the last play of the first quarter. Pressure right away. And Jordan Love goes down. Robert Quinn, one and a half sacks already through the first quarter of play. And now we're stuck here with the second and 24. The Bears send the pressure again. Here's a quick throw. And it looks like the defender fell and did not allow Tanya to get to the ball cleanly. They're going to call pass interference on the defense. We get bailed out. Here is Dylan handoff to left side. He finds a crease and does pick up a gain of 10, bringing it to a second and inches now at the 46. Jordan Love in the pocket now. He had a man open, but he waits and throws, and that is caught by Christian Watson for a first down. He had an injury scare in the opener, but he's healthy now. And now that brings it to a third and 10. Love moving in the pocket and throws a nice throw over the middle. That's a dot to Robert Tanyan, and that is going to be a first down. You see the flashes of good throws. As Here's another one. Here is Romeo Dobbs again, and he picks up a first down. Dobbs had the longest pass of the Longest catch of the game in the opener, about 57 yards. Second and three, here is Love stepping up and scrambling. That's what he tried to do on that first down run that he fumbled. And now that brings it inside the five. After losing a yard on first down, here's a second and goal carry, and the Bears defense really stuffing that one. Third and goal now at about the four. This time Love steps up and tries to scramble again. This time the pocket collapses. That is a sack by Richardson, and now we have to settle for the field goal. It is 17-3. I feel like we squandered an opportunity right there to get into the end zone. So down by two scores. Here is Fields running some more read option. He gets around Quay Walker, eventually brought down by Benjamin Mayfield. Tariq Carpenter was also in the area, but it's a first down. At the 38-yard line, here is Fields, handoff. This one will be to Montgomery. And now we're watching for that read option if he keeps it. And now he's been giving second and four, another keeper this time. And we're home, but somehow Justin Fields still gets to the outside. It's a first down. And now two minutes left here in the first half. Here is Fields in the pocket, throws off his back foot into traffic. It's tipped around and caught. 
David Montgomery comes up with a deflection. And sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And now they're inside the red zone at the 11. Fields, quick throw. That's caught. Darnell Mooney beats Jair Alexander again for the touchdown. And it is 24 to 3. I don't think a lot of people saw this coming after our opening day win. And now the Bears are in the driver's seat. You see the camera is shaking. They have all the momentum. Here we go. First and 10 throw to the right side. That is caught by Romeo Dobbs. As we hurried up to the line now with about a minute to go, we have all three timeouts. Love under center. He's going to air this one out deep. One-on-one -on -one for Tanyan, who climbs the ladder and goes and gets it. It's a first down. He caught that one over Eddie Jackson, and now it's goal to go. Two plays, and we're inside the 10. Quick throw to Christian Watson at the one. He can't get across the goal line. And now with 20 seconds left, handoff. A.J. Dillon fights, and he gets stopped at the one, bringing it to a eventual fourth and goal. Here's a handoff. A.J. Dillon, he's in, untouched for the touchdown. And it's down to a two-score lead. But, man, this game is a little scary. Down by a couple of scores here, a few turnovers by the Packers. And we have a lot of work to do in the second half. So the Packers have really, really shot themselves in the foot so far in the first half. We got to stop the read options as well. Justin Fields has run the ball well. As they start out here with the man in motion, this time play action fake. Quick throw and almost there was Quay Walker for an interception, but that just gets over his head. Second and four, quick throw to the right side. David Montgomery, about a four-yard hitch. It's about a gain of seven for the first down. Handoff, Montgomery puts the ball on the ground. Quay Walker hits him and jars the ball loose. It's picked up. Dante Pettis is down, but it's a loss of six. The rookie almost has his first turnover of his career. Here's another read option this time. Justin Fields kills us with this play. He gets about a gain of 14 all the way to the 43, bringing it to a third and short. Here is Fields now running slants. He throws to the sideline, and Montgomery cannot keep both feet in bounds. We at least force the punt. We start this next drive inside the five. Here is Dylan, and he almost broke that one. It looked like the Bears over pursued on that. Picks up a gain of four. Love now rolling to the right side. He throws on the run, and this one's picked off again by Brisker. He's going to walk in. Touchdown again. Once again, we did the same exact thing as the last pick, and we tried to play maker Tanyan, but way too late. Tanyan did not move. And I have to be honest, we did have Christian Watson wide open over the middle. I know one of you guys are going to call it out in the comments section. 31 to 10. Back on the next drive. Here's a throw to the left side. That is caught by Randall Cobb for a first down for the veteran. Romeo Dobbs lined up here in the slot. This is going to be a stretch play. This is to A.J. Dillon, and he picks up about a gain of three. He's at 39 yards rushing, 10 attempts so far, third and two. Here's a big run. Dillon up the middle, and he gets to about the 30. Now he's at 51 yards rushing. We're just going to continue to run the rock here. This time, though, play action fake to try to get the defense off balance here, and here's a quick throw to Mercedes Lewis, who picks up a gain of seven at the 21 another big hole this time Dylan fights forward runs through a tackle and he's inside the 10 this is what AJ Dylan does first and go another handoff fighting through tackles and does fall forward all the way to the one that one looked like it was stopped at the six yard line and somehow he gets to the one third and goal Dylan another handoff fighting through five tacklers and he gets in A.J. Dillon fighting for the end zone. You can tell he has the heart. He is a powerful back. And now it is 31 to 17. Back down by two scores. Montgomery starts on the next drive with the first down run. Fighting over a tackle that time in the hole by Trevathan, I believe that was. 
And now they get it to about the 40. The third quarter does wind down here. It's a second and nine. Here is Justin Fields in the pocket, throwing deep. And that one is way overthrown, looking for Mooney again, who has a couple of catches over Alexander today. Third and nine now, six seconds left in the third. Here is Fields. He's trying to scramble, but he can't get away. Rashawn Gary and Malachi Muhammad get to him. And now that one will bring us to the fourth quarter. How about Mordecai Muhammad? I don't, want, I don't know why I've been saying Malachi. Mordecai Muhammad, he has one and a half sacks so far in his short career as an undrafted free agent. And now here we go. Jordan Love, can he lead another drive here? Love tries to step up. Nobody is open. He doesn't want to force anything. He just takes the sack. Third and 14 at our own 30. Here is Love throwing. And Bob Tanyan was open for some reason. He just stopped his route. And they want us to go for it here on a fourth and 14. Here is Love throwing deep across the middle. That's caught by Cobb. And that's a first down. One thing I like about Madden this year are the animations. No longer will that be a drop like automatically in this game. First and 10. Here's a throw deep downfield. It's Christian Watson. Touchdown, his first career touchdown. He just runs past the defender. Love puts it on the money. He gets hit on the throw also, but Love just runs under it. A perfect pitch and catch, and we're only down by seven now. 31 to 24. We've come all the way back. Here's a throw across the middle, and that one is caught. Eric Stokes missing still. On the injury list, I can't wait to have him back along with Jair. Gain of nine, handoff. This is Montgomery. He gets tackled in the backfield, the first notable play of Devontae Wyatt's career. And that brings it to a third and three at their 33. Here's a quick throw, and that is Cole Komet. He picks up the first down tackled by the other Georgia rookie in Quay Walker. So here is Fields now in the pocket throwing to the right side. That's a quick dump off pass to David Montgomery as that brings it to an eventual third and eight. Here is Fields in the pocket trying to move and he gets hit by Gary. And that will be Gary's one and a half sack of the game. And he forces a fumble right there. You got to watch out with Gary on the outside. He can get to the quarterback. So here we go with a chance to tie this ball game up on this drive. Here is a handoff, and we're going to be smart here. Show some balance. That brings it to a second and nine. Three minutes to go here in the game. Handoff. A.J. Dillon finds a little bit of crease, and he picks up a first down. With that run, he tops his total from the opener. Another handoff this time to Dillon, and he picks up another gain of five as we hit the two-minute warning at the 38. Here's a throw to the sideline, and that one is incomplete. Maybe a little pass interference on the defense there. No call. Brings it to a fourth and five at the 38. Here's a throw across the middle. That one's caught by Cobb. Two about the 21. Jordan Love puts it on the money, and now a minute and 30 seconds to go. We have all three timeouts here. We're not going to waste them. Here's Love, play action fake now. He throws off his back foot, and that one is deflected. Good play by the linebacker on that one at the 22 now. Love throwing on a third and 10, it's picked off. And the Bears will force their fourth turnover of the game. You got to see what we saw right there. Romeo Dobbs was open, but he was just led a little too far the pressure got to us and had and forced us to really get rid of that ball. Roquan Smith absolutely abused our left tackle. And now here we go. We have all three timeouts. We get the first play of this next drive. Loss of two. Second and 12. Handoff up, up, up the middle. And we call our second timeout, bringing it to a third and eight here. We had to come up with a stop here to get the possession back. Here's a handoff. Montgomery breaks the tackle, and he gets there. That will do it. Blaze Williams can't make the tackle in front of the first down marker, and Montgomery and Justin Fields will get their first victory of the season. 
We definitely shot ourselves in the foot this game. Too many turnovers. And obviously we made some user mistakes. I do think we could have overcome those, but we just didn't in the end. A.J. Dillon was fantastic again. 20 carries for 95 yards. I don't think the Bears did anything too crazy. They did have a couple of lucky plays like the tip to Montgomery. And then obviously the opening pass to uh, Darnell Mooney. I'm not saying that was lucky, but they had a couple of plays go their way. Rashawn Gary, welcome back, though. Uh, it's very welcome to ha see him get one and a half sacks today. And Jair actually got beat on a couple of throws. And we end up with our first loss of the series. I didn't expect it to go like this, though, to beat Minnesota in the first week and then lose to the Bears in the second. But Jordan Love, one touchdown, four interceptions. He definitely had to clean up those turnovers. And A.J. Dillon has as many touchdowns as uh, Love does interceptions. Romeo Dobbs leads us in receiving so far. He's got 147 receiving yards. Quay Walker leads us in tackles so far and TFLs. Gary's already tied with him with three after playing only in one game. And he has one and a half sacks. And then Mordecai Muhammad also has one and a half. And then Kingsley uh, Anagbare also has one as well. JJ, we will call him. That is That was his nickname in college. And every team in the NFC North is one and one at this point. So I'm thinking that next episode will be a doubleheader. The former Tom Brady team and the current Tom Brady team, the Bucks and the Pats. I think I might do that. Otherwise, it'll be Bucks this next episode and then Patriots and Giants in the following episode. We will start to actually highlight some of the draft class as well. So keep an eye out on that. But hope you guys enjoyed this episode. After one more episode, we'll at least know where our holes are on this team. So that's when I will probably cover the draft class a little bit. But let me know what you guys think of this team and strategy going forward. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bible in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the west side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride